Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today and welcome back to the channel. Today I would like to go into what I think is one of the most important things in terms of knowledge when it comes to bug bounty hunting. But first of all, this video is sponsored by yours truly. Yes, that is right. If you go to the xssrat.com and you go to our Cyber Crusades link at the Top, you will find our cyber crusades section in here we talk about a journey through cyber security from a to z if you're interested in that for a very cheap price feel free to go into the link in the description below now thank you very much let's get into the video ladies and gentlemen so what i think is one of the most important terms of knowledge in terms of bug bounty hunting is apis all of these labs that i've built here all of these things are freaking cool don't get me wrong but but this is important all of these APIs are where it's really at because you have your front end exploits, of course, which are important, which matter. But this is where it's usually less protected because an app API is an application programming interface, an interface for application programs. Now, what is the thing about that? We don't protect them as much as we often protect front ends or user facing systems. The thing is you as a user are usually not expected to interact directly with these types of APIs. And we have several APIs here for you. If if you are interested in hacking those as you can see we have like uh, different apis that describe different vulnerabilities but what i would really start with is for example our enum apis the basic apis we have how to interact with apis basically here what you really need to know in my opinion is your broken access control issues why is that? Because there are three types of broken access control issues. And sorry about that noise. I'm going to go away for a second. And it actually goes very deep, those broken access control issues. So let's talk about them for a second, shall we? Number one, you have broken access control on the property level. What does that mean? I have an API here. These APIs, they often talk about objects. If I go back to my enums right here, my basic enum, you can see that we have students here. We have a get to get the students in our system. Let's give that a shot. And you can follow along, by the way. And we can post students towards this system as well. So let's try to create a student all right, we have our student created. And now let's execute this again. What am I interacting with here? You can see now that we do have a student in here. Now, what am I interacting with here? I'm interacting with what's known as a Swagger. Now, Swagger is just API documentation. The thing is, you can also talk to your API through curls, as you can see here, or even just through things like Burp Suite or other tools. They are all aimed at APIs like this. Really important to keep in the back of your mind, ladies and gentlemen. All right, now on some other things, response headers, we can see what type of server we are dealing with here as well. Important information. Now, with these objects, we have properties. This is what I was trying to get towards, the property of student, for example, with the string attached to it. So a student has a property student here. That is not a perfect example. Let me quickly get a better one so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. With these items right here, we can get all of the items as you can see right here we can get all of the items an item has a description an identifier and a name these are properties when i have an object like this an object could belong to a specific person user whatever entity so basically those objects can have broken access control on either the entire object meaning i can access everything right here and that could be on a horizontal level basically with the same privilege as myself 
So if I have my own invoices and I can see your invoices, that is on a horizontal level because we have the same privileges. If I cannot see invoices and I can suddenly see invoices, even if it's your invoices with the identifier attached to it, so to a specific object, that is on a vertical level. That is on a function level. I have access to functionality that I shouldn't have access to. And the weirdest thing is you can even have access to a property of an object that you shouldn't have access to. So that is really important to know these three distinctions. And if you look for identifiers, you need to look everywhere, including in things like files that you upload, for example. There you also need to look for identifiers. So I hope that this video has given you a little bit of an overview of what you really need to pay attention to. I think it's super important that you know how APIs function, how you can interact with APIs as well, because you can import this directly into Postman. And I have Postman videos on my channel. I will link to those, that's no problem. But it is important to you know how APIs work, how you interact with APIs, and most importantly, how broken access control works on APIs. Another important exploit is injection attacks, because this data is saved somewhere. I can inject on that, or I can inject on other certain things, like, for example, I can inject an XSS attack factory through an API. I can make that visible in the front end. Um, you can have a command injection attack. There are multiple types of injection attacks, but that is also something that often happens due to improper user input sanitization. So whatever the user puts into the system, it's not properly sanitized. Look for those things, my friends, on business to business applications, meaning HR applications invoicing applications software that is not meant for you and me but that is meant for a business and these things will pop up quite often another thing you can look forward to is for example in the url you might see uh, api slash version 2 or whatever so go back several versions go forward a version maybe they are developing a new version and they haven't put that live yet there are so many options for you to try i don't know why you're still watching this fucking video go out into the wild and find those bugs my friends bye bye